viewers today we will be talking about study types in statistics as you know statistics is considered as one of the most uh, dry subjects but nevertheless it's not so much dry as usually uh, people think uh, you can find certain books like biostatistics you can find certain books which can be as biostatistics biostats or what you can say uh, medical statistic medical statistics um, uh, nevertheless whatever uh, you give it name the point is that uh, it is a branch of physical sciences so having said that what is statistics statistic in fact practice of physical sciences which uh, uh, give you certain inferences uh, about the proportions from large target population through analyzing the numerical uh, data which may be in large quantity thus what is important in statistic there should be a target population and you in fact draw the inferences from the target populations and then 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 you analyze it this is important so analysis is not necessarily uh, or, or to that you always on almost all the time going to test the hypothesis so it is not necessary that all statistic method uh, methods do have hypothesis some methods may be descriptive and it doesn't need to be uh, to, to to find the idea of hypothesis because some of the students are interested in the p values but i will tell them uh, look beyond p values thus in nutshell statistic is related to the practice of physical sciences which from which you give certain inferences from a targeted population uh, uh, where it is considered in relative proportions remember this relative proportion so this relative proportion will give you the number of samples number of samples this is important then the third the second is the target population as we discuss first is the num the number of samples and then the type of samples are the target populations and then number third will be the uh, analysis and of course mm, at the end of the that particular uh, practice of that physical data or the physical sense or statistic you give certain inferences or you deduce or you reach in a conclusion about a particular method so repeating that all statistical methods is not necessary that you may have a hypothesis or a hypothesis testing uh, there is another terminology called variable variables if you focus on this point it's probably very so ables ability to variate so thus a factor that is liable to vary or change is called a variable a variable may be dependent or independent variable you know so for graph is concerned so independent is plotted on the x axis whereas this is the center origin of whereas the dependent variable is plotted on y axis so the dependent variable is plotted plotted on y axis this is the uh, standard methods so far plotting of graph is concerned so you may come across with different types of variables uh, this is so far the physical sciences are concerned or the mathematical sciences you see so dependent variable independent variable nominal or ordinal data you see and what is variable by the way this is a factor and this factor is being targeted from the target population as i said so it can be it can be any set of information because variable are 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 attributed 
to the information and this information is what you can say information is is in fact uh, give you data so data is 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 a is a collection of information or set of information and if you segregate this then it is called as grouped data so nevertheless uh, variables are not the domain of this lecture but to tell you that once you will be dealing uh, in different types of studies statistical studies so at least you must know your factor being under consider consideration or the variables under consideration and the nature of the variables that which one is dependent variable and which one is independent variable or what type of study then you are going to uh, conduct so let me go on to the main focus is the type of studies regarding types of studies you know this may be analytical and this may be descriptive uh, and the analytical is further divided into observational type of studies which is further segregated to you can say uh, as a parallel branch is experimental so in an analytical study maybe experimental or maybe observations whereas the descriptive studies are usually cross-sectional and they are performed at a certain period of time that is why they are sometimes called as surveys they are called as surveys but unfortunately in Pakistani populations uh, Pakistani population mean here from population I mean uh, the students of science or the science they are merely focusing on cross-sectional studies, particularly uh, in the health, so far the health professionals are concerned. Now, uh, regarding observational study, there is uh, prospective studies, or it is also called as cohort. The other type is retrospective, and then the cross-sectional. So, observational study has these further three types, you see. And important is so far analytical studies are concerned the primary objective is to study the cause and effect there is an exposure for the risk factor or a protective factor whatever the case is for example you give vaccination so you are in fact going to protect uh, the that particular person and if that particular virus is coming and going to affect the population so there is a risk factor for for a particular particular vulnerability towards uh, uh, a disease so there is an antecedent and there is an outcome and in analytical studies there should be an antecedent number first this is important and there should be an outcome as well uh, so far uh, the cross-sectional studies are concerned uh, so it is uh, neither uh, it's have antecedent nor an outcome in considered in cross-sectional studies uh, very interestingly when antecedent and outcomes are not identifiable then it is called as a descriptive study so descriptive studies which usually sometimes they are cross-sectional they are carried out in form of surveys and gives you preliminary information so the direction of relationship is not clear for example and then the anxiety can for example an anxiety can cause a disease or or a disease is caused by an anxiety so what you can say this is this is this is uh, these type of studies just give you only a snapshot of a particular uh, uh, scenario being under consideration at a particular time thus cross-sectional studies are merely the snapshot of an events happening uh, at a particular time in a target populations so thus we can say that cross-sectional studies are our are, are surveys now uh, what is important important to understand is uh, in case of this uh, uh, retrospective studies, you see, uh, the direction is from 
outcome to the antecedents. Usually, we go from antecedent, antecedent to our the outcome, and this, this is what happened in a, in a in a prospective prospective study or cohort study. But here, in case of a prospective study, the we go from an outcome towards the antecedent. Uh, this is called as a case control study as well. Uh, important to understand is exposures arise naturally, which are being 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 governed by 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 the determined by the principal investigator. While in experimental study, the exposure or the exposure or and antecedents are assigned by the principal investigator. Thus, this involvement of the scientist, target population, or as the case may be. So, while knowing all these type of studies, one should understand that which particular study will be uh, suitable for a particular uh, scenario being under consideration. Usually, as I said refer earlier, and they carry cross-sectional studies, which is not almost all time. Experiments in humans is called as clinical trials, which have phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, or phase 4 clinical trial, which is not the domain of this lecture. But, uh, but, but important point is that, that if you summarize this, the type of study may be analytical, or it may be descriptive. Descriptive studies describe, there is no hypothesis testing in this, and it gives you at a particular time the, 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 the snapshot or uh, an information of the events being happening on. Thus, it is a snapshot of a particular scenario and at a particular moment in a particular region. Thus, we raise the analytical studies are may, may be either observational, where we do not perform any observations. There is no no intervention. There is no intervention intervention in observational study or not intended. Whereas in experimental study, we 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 perform experiments. We do we do we do we do inter intervene. So intervention, interventions are there in case of experimental studies. Like experiments in human beings will be called as clinical trials. So, so, so sometimes when I find some synopsis of my students, so they write type of study. So what they they say, cross-sectional, analytical, descriptive study. One of the students says, so what a nonsense that is, or analytical, experimental, cross-sectional study. Because cross-sectional will come here, and then it, it comes under the title of an analysis, analytical studies. So please be specific so that so that you can understand how we are going to design all these type of studies. That will come in next lectures. Thank you.